I'm gonna go ahead and count them one by one to see how many we caught. One, two, three, four. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're not going after mice or rats, but instead we're gonna see how many yellow jackets we can catch with this brand new trap. It's called the Amazingly Fast Wasper Blaster. Catch thousands of wasps, hornets, and or yellow jackets in a single day. Now this time of year, yellow jackets are starting to get pretty aggressive, and I'm worried about my children getting stung in the backyard. So I'm always looking for new ways to catch these pests. And this looks like a good trap. So let's take it out of the box and see how it works. Well, here's the trap. It's a tub with a lid and a bait cage. To place the bait, you push this clip and fold it up. And here's where you'll put the meat. Yellow jackets can't resist raw chicken or fish, anything that smells good. To remove this, you push the clips on either side. You have to be careful because they're kind of delicate. That's one criticism I see is these might break off. But here with this bait cage, the yellow jackets can't resist and they'll fly down, try to get the bait and drop down in the tub. And here it says fill line. So we want to put soapy water halfway down. That way we'll drown the yellow jackets. And once we have enough, we can scoop them out with a net that's included. They also have instructions and even a sticker. I love Wasper Blaster. Now this trap is basically a variation on a DIY yellow jacket trap I featured on my channel several years ago. There I took some meat and attached it to a board and placed it over a tub of soapy water. And within hours, I caught handfuls of yellow jackets. It's pretty simple to make your own trap, but I'm curious if the store-bought variation works better. So let's go set it up and see how many yellow jackets we catch with the Wasper Blaster. So here's a good place to set up our Wasper Blaster. We'll take off the lid and fill the bottom with water to the fill line. You don't want to put too much water because the bait cage is hanging out underneath. We also want to add soap. I've seen yellow jackets drop on water and then fly away. What the soap does is it breaks the surface tension and then they drown pretty much instantly. Now we'll put our bait cage back on top. We'll clip it in place. Open up the front. Now raw chicken's my favorite, but fish also works. Here, I'm gonna use some tuna fish. The yellow jackets will go crazy for that. Now I'm also gonna place some freebies on top that will draw them in, cause them to congregate and gather. Then they'll find the food down below and get caught. They're starting to find the tuna fish. It's easy for them to get a mouthful, fly back. They'll tell everyone in their colony that there's free food. They'll all return here and soon we'll start catching them when they fly down below. Well, officially the dinner bell has gone out. It didn't take long to start catching yellow jackets. They want that tuna fish they fly under and drop in the water. So I'm gonna leave this all day and see how many we can catch. Well, it's been about four hours and as you can see, we've caught quite a few yellow jackets. Not thousands, but still a good number. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop these up with the net, then we'll place them in a pile and do a final count. So here's all the yellow jackets we caught in our Wasper Blaster Trap. There's a few more in there. I'm gonna go ahead and count them one by one to see how many we caught. One, two, three, four. So overall we caught 142 yellow jackets, one bald faced hornet, and three flies. That's a pretty good catch. I think we got most of the yellow jackets in the area. I think if we left it out more or there was a different area, we'd still catch them. So this trap can catch thousands of yellow jackets. It's a pretty good trap, but I think it's so simple to build your own. I have a video on that. I don't think you have to purchase a store bought one. But if you want the convenience of not having to make your own yellow jacket trap and you just want to buy one. I'll put an Amazon link down below that helps out my channel and it's a pretty good trap. There are a few things you wanna consider. Most of all, you have to use the right bait. You'll notice there's no honeybees in here and that's because I use meat. Meat is what draws in the yellow jackets, especially raw chicken or fish. 
Also, if you add water, you have to put the soap. Without the soap, yellow jackets can escape the water, but with the soap, they are goners. Also, you want to make sure the level's right. You can't overfill it or underfill it. Just have it right at the water line, and that way when they fly in and are greedy, grab too much bait, they'll drop down. So I do like the Wasper Blaster. It's a good trap, and it did work. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and sometimes yellow jackets, stay tuned.